Hey guys, welcome back to On The Spot STEM, and today we're going to be tackling 2019 Amy 1 problem number 3, which reads in triangle PQR, PR equals 15, QR equals 20, and PQ, PQ equals 25. So right here we see that's a right triangle. Points A and B lie on P and Q, C and D lie on Q and R, points E and F lie on P and R, with PA equals QB equals QC equals RD equals RE equals PF equals 5. Find the area of hexagon APC, ABC, DEF. So let's first construct this diagram. We have PQR, looks something like this, with the right angle at R. We see that this looks reasonably accurate. PR is the smallest side, PQ is the hypotenuse. So we'll say that's 15, 20, 25. Then I can label points A, B. I want to make it so that PA is 5, and then BQ is also 5. So then I put C, D there, and then E and F. So that each, and then these are the three triangles I have. And I want to find the area of A, B, C, D, F, which is this weird looking hexagon inside. And there's a couple ways to do this. One way is coordinate bashing. I, this isn't really the recommended solution. You can use to check your work, but yeah, that, you can just assign coordinates and just use Shoei's formula to find the area. But in this video, we're going to talk about a different way. Notice that the area of this, of this hexagon on the inside is the same thing as calculating the area of the big triangle, subtracting these, uh, well, first let me put the side lens, and then subtracting these three small triangles. That's pretty much equivalent to saying this big triangle minus these three small triangles equals the area of the hexagon, which you can see is visually true. Now the area of the big triangle, as we know, is just going to be one half base times height, which is 15 times 20 divided by 2, which is 150, right? And then I can use this small triangle on the bottom left, which is also another right triangle, so I can use 1 half base times height. So triangle RDE, the area is just 5 times 5 divided by 2, which is 25 over 2. And then now let's move on to triangle uh, BCQ, or in this, yeah, BQC. So in this case, we see it's not a right triangle, so we're a little, you know, we want to think about what we want to do. Now remember that the area of the triangle is actually 1 half times AB times sine C. So we can use that formula to our advantage here. We can say it's 1 half times 5 times 5 times the sine of angle Q. Now in geometry, you learn that for right triangles, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which in this case, which is 15 over 25 for the angle Q, which is 3 fifths. So this is 1 half times 5 times 5 times 3 fifths, which is the same thing as 15 over 2. Now for the last triangle, PFA or FPA, we're going to implement the same method here. Uh, it's going to be the same thing, 1 half AB sine C. We'll have 1 half times 5 times 5. And then for the sine P part, we see opposite in this case is 20. So 20 over 25 is 4 fifths. And this reduces nicely as the 5s cancel. Uh, you see the 5s cancel. And then 5 times 4 divided by 2 is 10. So our area at the end is going to be 150 minus the sum of these three small triangles, 25 over 2 plus 15 over 2 plus 10. We see 25 over 2 and 15 over 2 or is 40 over 2, which is 20. So 20 plus 10 is 30. So this is the same thing as saying 150 minus 30. And this is 120, which is the answer to this problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll be posting more content coming up.